Trace grooving is a common application method used to produce an axial groove in a component. There are a number of challenges to achieve a secure and efficient process. Ship control and ship evacuation can be a problem due to machining of a curved groove and poor accessibility. In this episode, we will outline a number of key guidelines and techniques that when followed will secure a trouble-free and successful face grooving operation. Two techniques used to widen the groove are multiple axial cuts and side turning. When using axial cuts, always start at the largest diameter. The first cut will ensure good chip control, but chip breaking will not yet be satisfactory. The second and third cuts should be 0.5 to 0.8 times the width of the insert, and during these cuts, chip breaking will become acceptable and the feed can be increased slightly. Side turning gives optimum chip control, though it requires a stable tool setup. Starting at the largest diameter and machining towards the center provides the highest process security. Chip control is the main challenge for finishing, so it is important to separate this stage into three separate cuts to remove material effectively. We recommend starting the first axial cut close to the corner radius at the largest diameter. Start the second cut at the largest diameter and machine to the corner radius on the inner diameter. Then use the third cut to finish the inner diameter and corner radius. High precision coolant increases tool life, productivity and security. Over the insert coolant evacuates chips to reduce the risk of jamming in the groove, while under coolant controls temperature at the cutting edge, resulting in less tool wear and greater stability. Coolant should be applied at the highest pressure possible for your machine, up to a limit of 80 bars or 1160 psi. Another vital consideration is to select a tool holder curved to the bending radius of the groove and select the widest insert and tool that will fit in the groove, as this will reduce the curve and improve stiffness further. Depending on machine setup and workpiece rotation, choose either an A or B curved holder in right or left hand style. So there you have it, a short guide for what to consider to get the most out of face grooving. And to summarize, always choose the best machining strategy depending on dimension of the groove, use high precision coolant whenever possible, and select the tool holder with the largest curve to fit your groove. For more information, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to visit the Sandvik Corman website.